think about the Gospel of Matthew chapter 22, the parable of the wedding feast. And so basically, as the story goes, there's this king who has a son who's getting married, and he invites various people to attend the wedding of his son. And at first, they refuse by giving excuses like, you know, I'm too busy and whatnot. But then eventually, things get really tense and violent, and so they, they beat the messengers who are extending the invitation before finally killing the messengers, as a result of which the king is obviously irate. It's kind of interesting that throughout the course of the story, there's never any mention of a bride. And if you read between the lines, basically the idea is that the people invited to the wedding, they are meant collectively to be the bride, right? So they're being invited to not just a wedding, they're being invited to their wedding. And so given all that, the takeaway message in a certain sense is to realize that an important prerequisite to becoming a spouse to God the Father through His only begotten Son is to learn to separate my identity and self-worth from my productivities or efficiencies. To realize that the sum of who I am is the sum of my Father's love for me, no more and no less.